Hello and welcome techies. I am Sambhav here. This is the sixth part of data type. In today's session, we are going to talk about general data types. We are going to see what are the different date time data types available in PostgreSQL. In detail, we will talk about the date data type. What are the different possible values or different possible input methods of insert or input methods for the date values means what are the different ways using which we can insert our date values into our table. We will also try to solve the confusion on different dates value, right? There are certain values which are really confusing for us to understand, right? So we will we will try to clarify all those for all those dates. We will also discuss about formatting the date type while reading the data and some very handy functions from the date perspective, right? Now, in the previous video, we have already discussed about Boolean data type, numeric data type, and character data type. We have also discussed some portions of date data type where we discussed about time with time zone, time without time zone, and so on and so forth. In case you have not watched my previous videos on SQL, please go ahead and check them out. I will attach the link in the description for you. So talking about today's session, which is where we are going to talk about date time data type, we know that date time data type is mostly used to store date and time values. But in today's session, we are going to talk specifically about date data type. We have already discussed about time. We have with time zone and without time zone. Today we are going to talk about date data type. Now, talking about the date data type, as the data type says, it is used to store the date value. That means you can store any value. For example, let's say if I want to store the value, let's say some date, let's say 23rd of January, right? And let's say some way 2020, right? So this is nothing but a date value. This is nothing but a date value. So the date data type, which we are talking about, the date data type, it is mostly used to store the date value. Now, in order to store the date value, PostgreSQL requires four bytes. The storage space required to store the date value is four bytes. And the default format of storage is YYMMDD. What I mean by YYMMDD, now when we look at this format of YY, sorry, YYYY, and then mm and dd now this of course you know that it indicates years this indicate month and this indicates dates that means whenever you are storing any value in postgresql any date value in any format by default postgresql will store the data in this particular format that means year month and date for example if i am talking about this particular date so whenever you are storing the value sql will always postgresql will always represent you the data in the form of 2022 month is 01 and the date is 23 we will also talk about why it stores in this format we will also discuss that as well now there are few basic things which, which you should understand before we proceed. Now you will notice here that year, month and dates are separated by a hyphen, right? Now you can also use a forward slash as a separator means YY, YY, right? Forward slash month forward slash date. That means there are two types of separators which can be used. One is a hyphen, right? and one is a forward slash, which is used to separate your year, month, and date value, which is used to separate your year, month, and date value. Now, when we talk about the date, what, till what extent can the date be stored, right? So, PostgreSQL has given you a range of dates. That means your dates must be within 4,713 4, BC, to 5874897080. That means this is a range of date. If your date value falls within this range, it is no problem. PostgreSQL is going to accept that. But if it is out of this range, then it is not an acceptable date range value. So you should be mindful about this. 
The range is 4713 BC to 5874897 AD. BC is nothing but before the birth of Christ and AD stands for Anno Domini, which is Latin for in the years of Lord, right? Another important point for you to remember is there is nothing called as 0 BC or 0 AD, right? There is no valid value called as 0 BC or 0 AD. Always remember that it is, these are not valid values. There is nothing such, there is no in fact value called as 0 AD, 0 AD or 0 BC. Now, when we talk about creating a column as a date data type, how can we do? The syntax is pretty simple. All you have to do is you just have to define the column name. All you have to do is you just have to define the column name and then the data type. So let's say column name and the data type. So here the data type is going to be a date. This column name can be anything, let's say event name or whatever it is, right? Joining date, whatever you want, you can have your column name, joining date. And then you can define the date type to be, the data type to be date, right? Date data type. So this is how you can define a column. Basically, this is how you can define a column to be as a date data type. Now, there are different methods of inputting the date value. Now, before we jump into learning the different input methods, let us create a table and show and see how we can actually create a, a, a column with a date data type. So here I'm using a basic create table statement where I have given a table name called as date table one. And this table con consists of three columns, serial number, event name, and event date. Now, event name is a varchar data type, which we have already discussed in the previous videos. And here we are creating a column called as event date, which is of date data type. Now, if I execute this, my PostgreSQL will create the table. So it says query return successfully. Now, if I want to look at the table, even though we have not inserted any value into it, so you would notice that it has created these three columns, serial number, event name, and event date. Now, since we have not inserted any values into it, that's why it is not showing any rows. Now, when we talk about inserting values into tables, now this could be a little confusing because, you know, we read date in different forms. We actually read dates in different form. But if you categorized, if you want to simplify the study of, you know, reading the date, it is mostly three types. First, either your dates could be in the form of YY, MM, and DD. Second format could be MM, DD, and YY. And the third format could be DD, sorry, MM, and YY. These are the only three possible formats in which the date can be mentioned. Now, when we talk about different methods of inserting the date, the only thing is that we play with all only these three types of formats. Sometimes, the for example, let's say months. These months could be numeric, let's say 0, 2, or it could be a character, which is F, E, B, right? Similarly, the dates, right? So these are the only three formats in which the date values can be inserted. Another option for us is here the year is represented as four digits. That means let's say for example, 2022. But sometimes we want to represent year only by two digits. That is YY. So let's say for example, 22, right? So these are the only three possible formats in which the date can be inserted. And in this example, I <clears throat> I have tried to explain you all the possible ways. So I am inserting here the value for the event name. The serial number is nothing but a serial data type. So that will automatically, it will get in incremented and will be added in the rows. But I'm inserting here the data for the event name, which, and then the event date. So here, let's say the event name is 2028-18. That means 8th of 
18th of August 2020. Assume the date here what I'm inserting is 18th of August 2022. Now this is a format this is a format this is the first format in which I'm trying to insert the values which is in the form of year month and date right year month and date yy m yyyy -Y -Y mm dd so here you see this is the first format where i have inserted the value 2020 the second format is yyyy -Y -Y month but here the month is in three alphabets right aug august jan jan and feb and then the date now this is the third format in which the year month and dates are not separated using any separator that means either hyphen or forward slash right the second method which i'm using to insert the date value is in the form of month date and year so the first value which i'm inserting is month so you see here 08 right month august then the date and then the year next again the same way month date and year the august 18 this is again another form of representing the representing this particular date 2020 and then 08 18 20 and then august 18 2020 so this is like this is of the form month date and year the third one which we discussed here the third one which we have discussed here is date month and year so this is of the third format where i'm trying to insert the value of date month and year so this is date month and year date month and year the only thing is that here i have only taken two digits 20 nothing else so the first values of the form yyyy -Y -Y -Y, right and this is only for the form yy -Y. now there are few special formats also to insert the data this is like this the first format which you're seeing 2020 uh 231 which is of the form year and 231 is nothing but number of days representing 18th of august now what i mean by this i'll explain it to you so here when i'm saying the year is very clear 2020 right now but for let's say i'm here i'm trying to represent 18th of august now 18th of august you will have to count how many days are there from January 1, 2020, 2020 to 18th of August, 18th of August. So this is the difference between these two days, uh, dates we are calculating in number of days, number of days. The difference is in the form of number of days means from 1st January till 18th August, how many days are there? So if you calculate, let's say, for example, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, it is approximately seven months plus 18 days, right? So on an average, if I take, let's say, 30 days, so this becomes 210 plus 18, and you know, there are certain 31 days and 28 days. So if you calculate, you will get somewhere around this day 231 days so that is about your the same date i am trying to represent which is 18th of august 2020 so 231 is like number of days in the year 2020 number of days in the year 2020 right second is the same format month date and year which i'm trying to represent with the value ad and bc which we have discussed earlier and the last one is the Julian date. So this is also a very common format where we uh, get the date value in our real time industry. Right. So Julian format, which I have inserted. So this is again the representation of 18th of August 2020. Now, if I execute this. So I have inserted so many values like 12 rows, right? Birthday 12. Now, if let me execute this and show you the data. Now, when you look at the data, you would notice even though we have inserted the date, I'm sorry, even though we have inserted the dates in different form, like YY MMDD, YY month MONDD, MMDD YY, DD MMYY, special formats, but you would see that PostgreSQL has stored all the dates in the same format. That is what I was talking about this point, right? By default, the default storage is YYMMDD. So you see here, for all the values, 
PostgreSQL has stored the value in the form of YYMMDD. That means year, month, and date. So this is the default storage format, right? This is a default storage format of your PostgreSQL, which I have also explained here. So you can see here the date value possible input methods. So you can exp uh, you can uh, insert in different forms, which is of the a form yy mmdd mmdd yy dd mm yy you can play around all these different permutation and combinations right this is a way how you can insert your values into your table now let's talk about some confusing date let's talk about some confusing dates let's say if i tell you that i have a date as 01 okay let me clear this up now suppose if i tell you that I have a date of this value. Let's say I'm saying uh, 0, 01, right? And then I'm saying 0, 01, and then I'm saying 2020, assume, right? Now, in or let this be 0, 02. Assume this is 0, 01, 0, 02, and 2022. Now, there are different people who can read this date in different ways. For example, some of you might read this as month. You will say, okay, this is a month. This is a date, MMDDYY format, correct? So you might read this as 2nd of January 2022. Some of you may say, hey, no, this is a date. This is a date value and this is a month value. And then this is year 2022. So some of you might read this is 1st of February 2022, right? So sometimes these type of dates create confusions. Sometimes these types of dates create confusions. So let's assume this particular date which we were talking about. So how will SQL interpret this date for itself? How is SQL going to read this date, right? For example, if I say here 0102, there are three different cases where the first value, if you see here where the year is also represented in two digits, then the, it leads to further confusion. The first case is either I may read this to be as year, month and date, then I will be going, I'll be reading the same date as, you know, 2001 February uh, 03, that is 3rd of February 2001. In the second scenario, if I read this value, the first value as month, second value as date and the third value is year, then the same date becomes 2nd of January 2003. The third is DDMMYY format that means it becomes 1st of February 2003 so this date is really confusing now if I am trying to store this value let's say I am trying to store these two confusing dates here if you notice birthday confusing date 1 confusing date 2 now let's say your friend says hey my birthday is on 010203 now it it will be really confusing or somebody says hey my birthday is on 020303 now what are you going to apprehend is it which one which value are you going to consider to be as a month date or year year month on date it leads to a lot of confusion now how does sql avoid this confusion how does sql avoid this confusion let's say for example i am inserting this value let's assume i am inserting this value and let us see what value is being stored in our table so this was confusing date one and confusing date two and you would have noticed in both the form it has read 2003 that means the last value has been read as a year and then 0, 01 0, 02 the first value has been read as month and the second value 0, 02 and 0, 03 has been read in the form of date so year month date that means SQL is actually following certain specific format to insert the values right here based on these two dates the last value which you have which we have seen is nothing but a year the first value which it has inserted is nothing but as a month and the second value which it is inserted is nothing but as a date that means postgresql is following some format to specific some specific format to read this date what is that particular format so that's what the question here is why PostgreSQL reads date in specific format? Of course, by looking at this particular example, we know that, okay, SQL is reading this date in specific format. But why does it do that? Or if it does in specific format, what format does it read? This is because of the date style which PostgreSQL follows. <clears throat> 
This is because of the date style which the SQL engine follows. If you want to see what date style the SQL engine or Postgres SQL engine follows, if you execute the command show date style, it will show you MDY. So the date style which it follows, the date style which SQL follows is MDY. Why? That means the first value will it it will always read it as month. The second value it will always read it as date, and the third value it will always read it as year. So, if in this example, whenever we are inserting the value, right? SQL is very much sure, boss. In whatever format you insert your dates, right? Even if it is two digit for years, it is always going to read in this particular style. That is your SQL style MDY. The first value is going to be month, second value is going to be date, and the third value is always going to be year. So this is the default style of SQL to read the date MDY, right? Now, if you want to change this style, of course you can do that, no problem. So now I hope this part is clear. Uh, whenever you are inserting confusing dates like you know 010203 which which can be read in possibly different ways like 3rd of February 2001, 2nd of January 2003, 1st of February 2003 but it may be confusing for us but SQL is very much clear about it. Postgres SQL knows that I have to read the date in my own date style which is nothing but MDY right now Talking about another confusing date, let's talk about this particular date. Now let's talk about this particular date, right? So uh, let's look at this particular date. Now this date is also very confusing. I mean not very confusing but yeah looking at this you can say okay this is your month. Of course this is your date because it is greater than 12 and this value is definitely year, right? But the question is, what year it is? Somebody might say, hey, this is 1945. Somebody might say, no, I want to read this to be as 2045. Sorry, 2045. Yes, since here the year value is represented only in two digits, which is YY. Now, I may be able to read this as 1945. Some may be planning to read this as 2045. They say, okay, this is a future date for some event. So I can also read this to be as 2045. Now, how does SQL avoid this confusion? Of course, this is a confusing date for us about the year, whether this is 1945 or 2045. Now, this confusion can be easily avoided based on this particular rule. So when we are reading this particular date, SQL would like to know whether it is 18th of August 1945 or 18th of August 2045. What day is this? But trust me, Postgres SQL engine is not confused at all because it has a century rule. What is the century rule? This is the century rule. This is our century rule. Oops, my bad. So this is our century rule. What does the century rule indicate? Now, the rules are pretty easy. The rules are pretty easy. Whenever your dates are represented in two digits, like 45, 55, 70, 65, right? If the value falls between this range, that means 00 to 069, sorry, 00 to 69, the century is first century. Postgres SQL will read that value in for the first century. That means your dates will range from 2000 to 2069 that means if I say hey for example in this case if I take this particular example here it is mentioned as 45 right so 45 falls within this range so Postgres SQL will read this as 2045 and not as 1945 now in order for SQL to read the date as 1945 or sorry uh, in 90s which is of 20th century then your two digit year value must be of this particular range which is 70 to 99 70 to 99 for example let's say if i say 80 right if suppose i am representing this value let's say 08 and i am saying 18 and then i am saying 80 right now 
AT, it will read it for the 20th century because it falls into this particular bracket, 7299. So this value will be 1980. This value will be 1980, right? If I read this value, it is 1980. I hope this is clear. Always remember this range, 00 to 69. So this is the value for the 21st century which is your 2000 to 2069 and if your value is like from 70 to 99 then the value falls into your 20th century which is 1970 to 1999 so now i hope you are clear what sql is going to read this value so since it is 45 which falls within 00 to 69 so this will be read as 2045 now let's try this let's try to execute this right so you see here I have inserted this value uh, sorry this is a different desired form of inserting I will I will talk about this little later the desired format I missed on that no problem now let's say I am reading this particular value right now let me execute this now if I show you you will see that it has read this as 2045 it has read this as 2045 we know this is because of this particular range value. If your two digit year value falls between 00 to 69, then it will read it as a value for the 21st century, right? Similarly, if I, re if I really want to store that as 1945, now what can I do? I can, can I insert the value like 1945, the complete value in spite of 45 two digit representing the year. So if I execute this and now if I execute and look at my table oops sorry my bad yeah now if I look at it you see it is storing the value in the as 1945 because I have explicitly said SQL that hey this is not 2045 you should not be confused I am clearly specifying it is 1945 so if you are specifying your dates as 1945 definitely it will it is going to work now the third range of value which is zero zero right the, I mean the starting range of this year value for the 21st century is 00. So I am inserting the threshold values as well to check if this is working fine. Now let me show you the value. So you would notice here that yes it is storing the value 2018th of August. The next value is 69 that that means 269 the if 69 again it will store the value as 21st century so the year would be read as 2069 so let's try this as well and let's execute it so yes of course the date value is read as 2069 then we will also read as 70 the moment we increase from 69 to 71 right it falls into the previous century which is 20th century so the year will be now read as 1970 so now the year will be read as 1970 let me execute this and let me bring this up right so you see here now it is it has started reading as 1970 similarly 99 again it is falling in the 20th century so this will be read as read as 1999 it will be read as 1999 so i hope i hope this confusion is clear so whenever you are representing the value in uh, year value in two digits you must remember the range right if it is 0 to 69 then the value falls in 21st century that means your year will be from 2000 to 2069 second thing is if you are inserting values from 70 to 99 so the value the year value will be read for the 20th century and the values of the years will be represented as 1970 70 to 1999 right so this will help you avoid confusions now but if you if you're definitely inserting the year values in four digits like 1945 so definitely it is not going to read for the 21st century it will read the value as 1945 itself right now one more thing which I have I missed in the previous video is this part. Now let's say for example we were talking about, uh, sorry in the previous section, we were talking about the desired format or you can say the default format of PostgreSQL to read the date which was MDY, MDY, right? Month, date and year. 
But what if I want to store the value in a different format altogether? Right. I don't want SQL to follow its own format, but I want to format to follow my desired format. Right. So we have seen that SQL has its own date style, which is MDY month, date and year. But I want to insert the value in different form. Let's say, for example, 010203. But I know that if SQL will insert this value, it will read this as month. That means January. Then the second value as date second and the third value as year but i am saying hey sql no don't do that for me i want the first value to be read as year the second value to be read as month and the third value to be read as dd if you want to insert the values in your own desired format you can definitely use to date function to date function now to date function is pretty straightforward so you use the to date function you give the desi you give the dates you can give this whatever date you want and then you define your desired format and then you design de define your desired format same thing to date let's say for example 010203 but this time i want to read this as month date and year same thing is for the third value to date same date but i want to read it in a different format which is like ddmmyy so if i execute this let's say df1 df2 df3 you will see same dates which have been inserted but now sql is interpreting in the desired way i want it so if i look at my result you will see df1 0 df2 df3 so see it is reading 2001 2003 2002 and see january and february different dates because i have explicitly instructed to read the date in this format so if you want to insert your dates any dates in your own desired format not the postgres date style if you want to insert it in your own style you can use the function to date it will take two parameters the first parameter is the input date and the second parameter is your format in which you want to read this date basically this is the format in which you are telling postgresql hey you read this date in this particular format i hope this is clear right now, <clears throat> so we have already seen this confusing dates, right? Now, when we are talking about this century, right? You can, you PostgreSQL also provides you to extract the century value. So let's say we have inserted a lot of century values here, right? So if you want to extract the values, right? The century values, you can use to care function. You can give the column name or the date and you can specify cc which will tell you the century so if i execute this if you would notice that it is giving me the century value right i am doing it for all the columns so it is returning me century value for all the columns so 2020 21st century so this is also a very handy function sometimes when you feel like you know uh, extracting i mean the century value you can do that the function is to care you the first parameter is your input date right or the date whatever you want it could be a column name it could be a specific date and then in single quotes you specify cc in single quotes you can specify cc right so that is how you can actually format the date uh, so extract the century value now the next thing is that can we date formatting for the date type while reading that means now we know that by default whenever let's say for example if i execute this by default PostgreSQL will always return me the date in the form of YYMMDD. That's the default format, right? Now, can I change this format? Yes, we can change this format. This format can be changed by, that means while reading the data, can we change the default format from YYYY to any other format? Let's say, for example, here, we know that, uh, let me clear it up. So we know that the default format in which it reads the date uh, which it uh, represents the date is YYMMDD, right? In whatever format we insert the value, in whatever format we insert the value in PostgreSQL, PostgreSQL will always store them in the form of YYMMDD. But can we change this format? Can Suppose I want the date uh, to be displayed in the form of mmdd yy can we do that yes of course we can do that in order to do this that means in order to format your date while displaying you can do that by using to 
char function to char function now to char function is pretty straightforward it takes two parameters one is the expression the first parameter is the expression that means the date uh, it could be a column name or you can pass a date and the format that means in what format you want to uh, you want your date to be displayed for example let's say here to char event date now I know that it would uh, SQL would return me in the form of yymmdd but I want it in the form of dd month and year now the moment I write mon so so please be mindful about this mm will return months in digits 01 02 03 10 11 and so on and when you write mon means it will return your months in character the short form in short form of the months in three alphabets like jan jan feb for february mar for march right so i'm just formatting it now let me execute this and see the result so definitely you see the same date has been formatted as 18th of august 2020 and this is a default format you know that this is a default formatting of re, uh, displaying the date by postgresql year month and date but i have formatted it as date month and year if i want this august to be changed to numeric value then i will use mm in spite of mom mo and month so you see here the same value will be changed to 08 the third one again i'm changing it in an, uh, another different way which is date month and year yy of the form so you see it is representing it right this is again the same thing which i am showing in a different format just a different format so you see here format one which is of date month and year format two is month date and year and format three is year month and date and the first event date is a default format of postgresql which we have already seen which we have already discussed now guys there are few more handy functions which you can use which i have also discussed in previous videos like select now which will return you the current date time along with the time zone so now returns with the time zone so we have already said this is today's date time and this is the time zone right now if you from the from this now which returns your date time and time zone if you only want to extract date you can uh, oops, my bad sorry uh, you can cast it so this is a cast function colon and colon double colon used to cast so this will convert now date time zone only into the date value you can also use current date in order to get the current date what is a date today right uh, there are different ways of setting up uh, you know <coughs> uh, current date so it returns a current date now minus some date value is used to calculate interval in dates right so now minus the current date now some date value you can use to calculate the current date right so let's say for example I'm creating another table here let's say right and here I am saying event date to be default current date so I am creating a default date as a current date now if I execute this and and let's say for example I'm inserting some values into it so in most of the time since I have defaulted the current date so this is how you can actually default your current date if you want you can default your current date default current date so this current date has come from this particular function so you know postgresql provides a function called as current date which you can use here uh, and you can specify the current date value you can use the keyword default to default the current date value right so you see this we have got the same value so this is in case if you want to you know uh, uh, default a current value a date value you can always use default and then followed by the current date right now as I was talking about the next which is like now and some date which is used to calculate the interval in days right so if I execute this let's say so you see here select star comma now minus event date when did that date uh, 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 that event date whatever is I have inserted in the table so if I execute this you would notice here the star represents up to event date and now minus event date so this will return this will return you number of days 
this will return you number of days the difference between the current date which is now and the event date so this is date in difference in date so in case if you want to calculate difference in date you can definitely use this function now minus event date uh, if you want to calculate age many times we have to calculate age you can use the function age right so if i execute this you would notice it will return me the age from here so this age is in year months and dates so if you want to calculate a difference in the event particular date and uh, you know what is their age if you want you can calculate that by using the function called as age which is an inbuilt function and you can pass the date value right now the last one is extract function the extract values so the main purpose of the extract function is to extract the value such as year month and date from the given time given value means suppose uh, you have a given date here right 2028 18 so you want to extract year you want to extract month you want to extract date you want to extract quarter everything you can do that how can you do it you have to use a function extract year that means in what form you want to extract from the event date let's say for example i want to extract the decade of it right so extract decade the 10 years from event date as decade let's say i want to extract in which quarter it forms it this date particular falls so extract quarter so this is your desired uh, extraction values let's say year quarter month date in whatever format you want you can extract that so if i execute this it will give me the year the decade the quarter month and date now all these are the same date so you will see the same values over here right that is all for today guys thank you so much for your time and patience you have a great day ahead thank you